Working on Jano knows that there's no food. I think it's high time the government responds back to the people to let them know the situation of things, what they have actually handled, what will be handled. You know, because everybody everybody has a voice. Now the government has a voice and the people need to hear the government, but you have to speak in the language of the child to understand that this is what you're doing, this is what will happen, and this is where we're going to. Because yes, it's one year. Yes, a lot of good things have happened, but I, I guess that there is there is conservation of proper information that is not disseminated properly, especially to the grassroots, to know what has happened and what will happen. So I feel the government has and the government responds effectively to tell the people, this is where we are. We are sorry. If, if, there's nothing wrong with your father telling the child, I'm sorry. You know, but keeping quiet and making it look like, oh, these guys, they should just doing their thing. The police are here to respond, to support, to protect not to fight against them and i, I think that's, that's another information that needs to also go out there they're not here to no no we're not fighting you we're here to support you to partner with you to get this message across but please don't vandalize properties don't do this don't do that we'll support <laughs>
for for the past few years it's been quite difficult for every Nigerian and we all understand that. Uh, I myself and a couple of Thank you. So that's uh, the welcome back you say, right? From that uh, long uh, watch all over the country. I do still have uh, this uh, chart even from outside the country. For example, the Nigerians in the UK who uh, went to the Nigerian house yesterday in London, uh, one of them did make uh, a video sending a message to the ruiners of Nigeria. Let's listen. Wait, one sec. Go. The Nigerians in diaspora are out here at the Nigeria High Commission to protest and to let administration of Tunumbu know that we're not happy with what is going on in Nigeria. There's a lot of misgovernance going on in Nigeria and this has to come to an end. We, did, we dealt with this for eight years with Buhari and Nigeria cannot continue this way. There's high rate of mental health, suicide is of high level in Nigeria. Our young ones are killing themselves, they are committing suicide, there are no jobs, the schools are, are substandard. What we can say is that they're just looting and continue to loot. When, when Tinubu and his cronies were growing, they benefited from free education. But what they could give to Nigeria at the time they were meant to give back is to steal the funds that should be going to education, that, be, that should be going towards education. At the time Tinubu and his cronies were growing, they benefited from free health care. By the time they are meant to be given back to the society, in form of administration, in form of service, in which they get their pay. But what we say is, they're looting the funds that should be going towards healthcare. When Tunumbu and his cronies were growing, their parents were paid as workers in Nigeria. But what we see that they're owing the workers in Nigeria, this cannot continue and so many more. With terrible policies, bad policies that are meant to impoverish Nigeria, policies that continue to promise the economy of the country, enough is enough. People are hungry. People are dying of hunger in a land that is that is got got a large a large size of arable land and a land where we have over 200 million people. Our youth population would have been about 70 percent of this over 200 million people who are ready to work, who are ready to be educated. But these are being deprived, and that's our message to Tunumbu tonight. We're here to pass this message to him. Right, the Nigerians right. in diaspora, we're here. We did that with Buhari. Although Buhari's administration was a shock for eight years. But we've come out of the shock, and people are beginning to resonate with these ideas, to know that they continue to be impoverished. The people in, in government are their servants. They are not their, they are not their slave masters. Tunobu's administration is not a slave master, it's meant to be serving the people. And same as the state governors, they are meant to be serving the people. And same as the all three arms of executives, all the three arms of, 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 of the government, both the executive, the legislative arm, and the judiciary arm. I'm so appalled by the, the judiciary arm. The judiciary arm have disappointed everyone so terribly because everyone knows court is the, the last resort for a common man but they never have the backing the common man the masses of nigeria the ordinary person in nigeria never have the backing of the courts but so here we are we have started the, the protests have started in nigeria and we are starting with nigeria enough is enough enough is enough we will continue to do this until the administration of Tunumbu changes. Thank you. Sorry, one second. Go. Thank you, Ma. <clears throat> That's so brilliant. Mm? God bless you. If you get to see this video, we appreciate your effort, ma'am. Right? In New York yesterday, there were also those who passionately 
I took this battle to the Nigerian house in New York. I've got clips. And they die. Some of them die on the road. Just because they want to leave their children. Because the suffering is too much. Why do you see that people are suffering? You as a president, people are suffering. They can't even find food or eat. A lot of people are suffering in Nigeria. Go to Nigeria. Everybody has become beggars. But the government, they have the right to buy private yes. tech. People have the right to buy private yes. tech. Uh -huh. When people are suffering, they cannot even eat. They buy SUVs. They meal. They got they SUVs for themselves. They bought SUVs for people. Uh -huh. They built houses from Chattima. So Two billion dollars. What are you living in the bush? What are you living in the bush? What are you living in the bush before? Why would that be the house that you want to buy a home? What do you want to buy a home? They hide palliative. They hide palliative from us. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you. Palliative, how do they end up? This criminal has been hoarded from us. Uh, during COVID-19. During COVID-19. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't be here if Nigeria was hosting. Criminal gang of Nigeria hosting. But Nigeria is not working. You go to school and come to finish school, you cannot get a job. You cannot find a job. You come to this country today, you find a job. Money is not even your country. What kind of a country be like that? You don't have roads, no good roads, no water. You, you build a house for yourself, you provide roads for yourself, you provide the uh, never bill, a never phone for yourself, you provide people a wire, they will not bring bill. All they know is to bring bill. They won't even see the light though, but they will bring bill and you must pay. Why? Okay, one more thing, my sister. And then I'll talk again. Oh, no. Why do we? Why do we? Why? Why? Why all this? See, we were busy before. If Nigeria was working, we would be here. We sacrificed our time to be here to come and express ourselves. Okay, we plan to have this nationwide protest. You can imagine that before this protest started. They have already said what people don't come out. Why? Protest is our fundamental right. It's our right to express ourselves. You cannot beat me and tell me not to cry. Yes. Right. Or tell me how to cry. Good job, my kids. Do you understand? Good they job. say we should not protest. They said, I'm going to talk to the talks. Yes. After us, that's the people back home. Then they should not protest. And they, they say, say Oro must come outside. Can't give them for protesting. Now, let me go to home. Do you know that they eventually came out and what happened? They killed four people today. Yes. They killed four people today. Yes. They killed Kill four people today. Today. And we talk to the book. If you kill anybody, he must what you what wanted, what you were asking for is to so have a good governance. Are you getting me? I'm a normal request of give us a good country. Governors word. But we want them. We say if you kill anybody, if anybody have any scratch on anybody, change it to the people of God. So right now, it is to the people of God. Because how dare you kill people for protest? Are we not protesting now? Yeah. Did anybody beat us? Where? Do you see the police have us? But you can't do that in Nigeria. No. In your own country. You said no to it. We said no to it. No, we said no. Very good. Good job. Okay. Can I talk? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you for organizing. If you don't mind, sir, we will. My name is Sindof Endoni. I'm the charge of the affairs of the permanent mission. Okay. I'm not hiding. This is. Ambassador Jida Abubakar is the Consul General of Nigeria. We are standing here in, on our authority to listen to you. But look, I will tell you something. You said when you turn your back, nothing will go anywhere, no information will go anywhere. Yes. Do you know that as you are talking, social media is carrying it? And we don't care social about media. Social media goes wider than the normal We don't want yeah, social media. We want you to not do something. Not to the relevant do people. Do you know, the relevant people are not going to respond to it. You don't respond to what you see on social media. Do something. No, no, we don't, don't care about social so media. Okay, let him speak. When you were talking, nobody was interrupting. No, he was addressing me, so I had to answer him. So don't. You don't have to do that. Go ahead. So, please, please. Don't play on our intelligence. Like I said, nobody is playing on your intelligence. We are listening to you. Know that you have said we are representatives of the government. We will have listened to you and we will report back. Ours is to advise the government. Me and you know advice is not instruction. I hope you know that. Advice is not instruction. We will advise the government. This is what Nigerians have said. Nigerians have expressed their anger. But I bet you now for the period that the information of this protest Started, government's attention has been drawn to concerns by Nigerians, and government is taking 
necessary steps. We've had it that's before. I will assure you. We've had it before. That I will assure you. We've had it before. We've had it before. And for us here, we can hear for us here, we are representatives of the government, like I said, we will report back to the government of your concerns. All of these photos have been taken of this, uh, what you have written Black here, placards. We will report back to government. But please, you have said you are in one trillion nine hundred and eleven billion eight hundred and forty four million eight hundred and thirty three naira and forty six I'll take that again one billion nine hundred and eleven one trillion nine hundred and eleven billion eight hundred and forty four billion One trillion, this money is, uh, is too much for me. One, one trillion, I hope, you, I hope that is not, I hope that is not on the record. <laughs> one, one trillion. New Zans, Lily. Hmm. So, just so you know that uh, Nigerians in the diaspora, uh, they will always uh, possibly come together if they see more from you in Nigeria. Trust me, a lot of people are just like, a lot of them are staying sort of uh, glued uh, to their own TV sets, to their phones and everything just to monitor what is going on there. Is this the hour? Is this you? Are they going to do it? Would they do it now? I don't mean they begin to see that. We will see a lot of them that will begin to react. Here is Deji on uh, AIT today. Uh, discussing their experience in the hands of uh, their criminal police in Abuja today. Now, from what the reporter have heard now, they said that the number of people killed so far is actually 23. They have killed 23 people so far. And the police said they've arrested more than 1,100 people already across Nigeria, obviously. Still, if they are not gaslighting those they call the opposition, even this one I'm about to show you right now is not somebody who is APC, it's PDP. Or like the typical Nigerian politicians, okay? This is all the reason. The adjoining videos are just the extras in my file. Watch this. And from the informal security reports we have, the people behind this so-called protest of August in Bielsa is Timipri Silva, Joshua Makaiva, one Atuo who is also working with Timipri Silva, Dr. John Idumangi, who has been a very maverick social media man, moving from one group to the other. Tomorrow is here, next morning is on the other side. Next morning is on the other side. He is the one on the social media with others who are working with Timmy Pri Silva, worked with him in 23, 2023 elections, and are still working with him. They are the ones who are sponsoring and orchestrating this so called protest. I don't and from the informal hmm. so let's go listen to what they had to say because he was there today was there yesterday he has the first-hand information uh, uh, 
that I want you to please listen to. It's a long watch, right? Please. You know, so I wouldn't want to even engage in any debate with any of them because it's beneath me. Having said that, you know, it's important to say, to ask, where is Wiki today? Wiki was all over the place running his mouth. Where's Asari Dokubo? Asari Dokubo said protests will not even hold. Protests held in Port Harcourt, in River State, under his very nose. Thousands, when I mean thousands of Nigerians gathered in Port Harcourt today, more than 20,000 Nigerians gathered in Port Harcourt. You, you, you think you can insult the Nigerian people? And you think the Nigerian people will let you get caught free? The reason why these people are so badly behaved is because Nigerians have been allowing them to escape with misbehavior over the years. You know, if this was a country where leaders are held accountable, people like this will not go on air and be talking any hand. Citizens will let them just, especially leaders, get away without repercussion. The Nigerian political and the ruling elite, they are so badly behaved to the point that, look at the way Akpabio has been insulting the Nigerian people. Insulting the Nigerian that, that's people. That's the Senate president. Yes. He's my former friend. He has he's been he's insulting. Not, he's not your friend. No, he's not. He has been insulting the Nigerian people. Because of what? Because Nigerians say they want to end hunger. The, the protest is about ending bad governance. Okay, so you want bad governance to continue if you are opposing the protest. The people... Imagine that you have one billion naira now. You have one billion naira now in your account, in your account the, with so many zeros. The value of the one billion is now 100 million. The value of 100,000 now is 10,000 naira because these guys have destroyed our economy with bad policies. They said they in, in, increased minimum wage, 70,000, that people should be clapping for them. What is the value of 70,000 naira in today's Nigeria? It is like 7,000 naira. These people have so depreciated the value of the Nigerian people. Today on the street, we had to prevent a man, full-bodied, able man, from going naked on the street of Abuja. He wanted to go naked and let the police kill him. He said he would rather die on the street with the police kill him than for him to die of hunger in the house. What are we talking about, for God's sake? People are so frustrated to the point that Ijoma, one small tube of yam is between 5,000 to 10,000, depending on where you are buying from. Somebody said they want bad governance to continue. What are the issues? Very simple issues. The president removed first subsidy on, the, on his first day in office. And filling stations changed their pumps. And it reflected him. It means the president has enormous power to control the Nigerian economy. The president thinks he's doing Nigeria a, a big favor by saving money. These governors have been looting our resources with even the money that was being given to them before President Tinubu came. While we criticize President Tinubu, we have nothing personal against him. What we are saying is that people that, when you pay them FAC, they loot almost 80% of the FAC they get. You are not giving them times three of the money that they used to get. This majority of these governors, you can go to EFCC and, and verify. Majority of these governors, immediately they get FAC. What they do is they change the Naira to dollar instantly. Instantly, that's what they do. So then they stockpile the dollars in the house. That's what they do. Aside that, Ijoma, now the president, the president is ensuring and making sure that this issue of corruption in the states, yes, I agree that we are over-focusing on the center, mm. which is the federal government, that the governors also need to be held accountable. Last month, they gave, the federal government gave the states 1.3 trillion to share. Additionally, they gave them 438 billion naira to share. What has happened to the money? Why are citizens not holding governors accountable? This protest is not about the president alone. It's a holistic protest against hunger. Today, if the president brings back for a subsidy in the country, fuel prices will instantly drop because the, pres the president has extreme power and his body language alone controls the economy. And if fuel prices drop, you also see that significantly prices of goods and services will also drop. So, because we are dealing with hyperinflation. So, let us, as patriots, let us provide solutions to government and the return of subsidy we, we have because it is better to subsidize for the poor than to give the money to a governor that is going to change the money immediately to dollars and stockpile it. So, and this is the idea about the first subsidy. Secondly, we are saying that politicians should not be paid. Politics should be a part-time thing. I'm a lawyer. I can leave my office and go for national service on Monday and Tuesday at the National Assembly. And I go back to my work. That is how we were running this country before, until we now turn politics to a full-time job. Not only do politicians get paid, 
they have thousands of aides that they are wasting taxpayers' money, then they still throw money around for the boys. You know, so that must stop because Nigeria is broke. And you cannot have a broke nation and be living extravagantly. It will not end well. Lastly, on this question, it is important to know that no matter how you look at it, the arrogance of power, you know, people in power, as at yesterday, believe me, we've, we've been in talks with so many people. As at yesterday, they were so cocky and arrogant that the protest, protests will not hold because they've been sharing money all over town. But let me tell you something. Do you have proof of that? that that's by the way. Do you know that they are even lucky that this protest was announced by the Nigerian people and a date was fixed for the protest? You see the real protest that is coming? The protest of the frustrated? The protest of the hungry? It will not be announced. There will be no date. Last, uh, also, today, in most parts of the country, the protest was peaceful. Even in Marabaya, where they are talking about, do you know that people were hailing the military? The people were insulting the police. It was the police that started attacking the protesters. For was, okay, that was what caused the... Yes, that, see, even here, even here at the Eagle Square, Eagle Square, it was the military that was prevailing on the police. The guys are peaceful. Why are you attacking them? Do you know that they fired more than a thousand uh, canister? canister. They, they even ran out of canister. They stopped firing. So what is the essence of making the protest degenerate? I appeal severally to CP Bennett Igwe over the protest, both at the various venues. And I told him, I said, before you guys came, this protest was very peaceful, extremely peaceful. Why are you guys trying to...